Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Prepare to chill with Paul Riddell's new ambient mixtape, Volume 5, The Water Tape, which is leading up to Ocean of Peace, which is going to be an LP. But here we have the new ambient release from Paul Riddell on the mighty SFI recordings. This is an atmospheric recording. I'll go over the equipment in a moment, but I just want to show you the O card real quick. Very nice as always. I do wish I could read Japanese so I could read these characters. And regrettably, I do not have the ambient mixtape volume two or one. But I have three and four, so I'm happy. As well as Hovercraft and Ocean of Peace. But I love this type of stuff, and I understand it's not for everybody. This is very, very relaxing chill like you know, I, I like listening to Paul's ambient stuff including Time Wave Zero in darkness normally at night time smoke a little bit just the, at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day like just a nice little chill time and like, even from the artwork and stuff, like, just going, you know, the full, like, nine. I love it. Because, like, a lot of new age music, like, especially, like, when you look at the cover art and stuff, it's very simple. And like really with Ocean of Peace, I love this cover. It's so perfect for Paul's work. And just uh, again, wow. And I love this new age like stamp that they've been using it's just i i like that stuff like i'm i'm just i'm a nerd with that shit peace be with you and this is a personal copy so i don't i don't know if this is available to the public um, i apologize but thank you, Paul. This, this, really, this release means a lot to me. It really does. Like That's like my go-to chill tape. And having the water tape as well. Yeah, it's sick. Like, I, I really just... I love the fact that, like, author Risk can, like, master... Something as gnarly as, you know, fucking piss grave, and then something as beautiful and as chill as the water tape. That's talent, like, in my opinion, that goes to sh your versatility as an engineer. Um, 
you know how you always have those people. Um, I have the black tape. I know there's like a white one and I think another one. I honest, I'm just happy to have a copy. I really, sorry, but I don't care if I don't have the white one. It doesn't matter. As long as I have the tunes, hell yeah, that's all that matters. And everything on here, I, I just, I, I love, and I love how it's all, you know, improvised and recorded live. It just adds to me a lot. And I'm going to go over the track titles and everything in a moment. Because you have water drone clocking in at 9 minutes and 58 seconds, slow melt 8 minutes and 27 seconds, spore loop 4 minutes and 41 seconds, reverse disintegration 5 minutes and 45 seconds. I'm pretty sure I just mispronounced that, I apologize. And then Zen Garden, 12 minutes and 39 seconds of goodness. And like, I don't know if that's like the character for A, but I'm guessing it is. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But um, you have Harmonia Drone, 5 minutes and 48 seconds. Underwater Sequence, 4 minutes and 38 seconds. November Water. 14 minutes and 24 seconds. Water movie, 5 minutes and 12 seconds. Reverse movie, 3 minutes and 45 seconds. And reverse water, 5 minutes and 13 seconds. All sounds improvised and recorded live by P. Recorded, well, captured within the S1, the SI169 Studio Compound. Denver, May through November, 2021. Mastering by Author Risk, Philadelphia, April 2022. Sound impression figure, Serpent Form by Margaret Watts Hughes. Via Edaphone, Wales, late 19th century. Calligraphy by... Yukai Wada, Tokyo, February 2022. Be like that character. Again, I don't know what that means. I wish I did off the top of my head, but I do not. And I love how Paul actually lets you know what equipment he uses. Like a lot of noise artists, like they do as well. Like if you watch certain podcasts yes i'm a nerd like that i find it fascinating especially when somebody creates like their own like setup and stuff i find it very interesting it's something that i wish i had the talent to do but i just due to years of abuse from riding bmx my hands suck like my from tendon like uh, what's it called carpal tunnel arthritis I've, I've broken fingers like I, I can't use tools very well like I can use bigger tools but since my neck injury I don't like even using like a socket wrench like it actually like I don't it's it feels like it's too much like legit it, I don't like doing it like I, you can feel the pressure I, don't, I really don't even like talking about it I'm like trying to get off subject, but again, like I like how I know what Paul used to make this. Sound sources utilize Moog Prodigy and MG1 Concert Mate, Behringer Poly D, Chromar Orchestrator, and a Roland RS5, and the model the modulation. A Moog MF delay, a Roland RE301 chorus echo, and RE20 space echo, and an Alesis quadroverb, as well as an EHX2880. Like, he 
you look up that equipment, it, it's super just, it's, I, I find it just impressive on its own, like, wow. Because I, I, I always, like, whenever I get sent, like, photos of, you know, the practice space or whatever, I always just scan the background, like, just looking at, like, equipment. And, like, especially amplifiers and whatnot. But I love this photo. Again, like, just keeping in, like, I, I really regret sleeping on the uh, first two mixtapes. But maybe I'll get a reissue one day. But I'm really just blown away with, like, Paul's ability to be in a band like, you know, Abysmal Dimensions, Spectral Voice, Blood Incantation. But, you know, being able to have Blood Incantation, like, do their own ambient recording with everyone's involvement. Again, like, Time Wave Zero just like this massive it's not just a love letter to tangerine dream or hey let's get this out of our system no like this is you know it's not just a fucking gimmick like I always try and send <laughs> tunes to um like Paul and I'm Paul will just like send like a, a photo of a physical copy of like said record and it's like dude like that's so awesome like especially Jim Kirkwood is like I have to really thank him he, he really got me into Jim Kirkwood a lot it's like I had just heard only heard like a few things and he, he was like dude like you know I think he, he just like made a comment he's like oh like like, oh, like that dude rules and I just got into his back catalog and it's just I've been enjoying it very immensely ever since and there's a lot of you know artists like that just off the top of my head I'm draw of course I'm gonna draw a blank but like Time Wave Zero I'm really hoping this gets a cassette release for just obvious reasons I mean the vinyl's great but like I just think it would be so, it just would look so sick on tape and would sound amazing. I'm, I'm sure it's in the works, maybe, I don't know. But I can't wait for this shirt to arrive from Europe, from the European tour. But like, again, they have the equipment used for Time Wave Zero listed. And I, I find that absolutely fascinating shit the Moog Prodigy MG1 Concert Mate and MF Delay like every member you know like busted their ass here to make this something special and just the fact that it was captured like on uh, I think 2 inch tape they used uh yeah, captured on two-inch tape at World Famous Studios. And with that beautiful Don Dixon artwork, to me, all these ambient releases build up or down from Time Wave Zero. They're not connected. I mean, you can be one of those people and connect them in your brain, but there's no connection to my knowledge. But... The only connection being maybe nature and the cosmos in general. But just when it comes to the water tape, what I'm saying is don't expect, like, you know, anything but peaceful, ambient goodness. Think of that Brian Eno quote. 
it should be as interesting as it is kind of background music. Like, you need to make it interesting, but also at the same time, like, let's say you're into meditation, this is something I highly would recommend getting into to meditate to. Like, the water tape is definitely probably some of Paul's most chill material. Like, don't get me wrong, you know, this ambient mixtape, super chill, hovercraft, super chill. But, like, with Ocean of Peace and the water tape, it's really, like, just an amazing... I, I, I love this stuff, and... Yeah, this is a great addition to my instrumental collection, and especially just music to space out to and just fucking chill. Like, again, grateful to have snagged a copy of this, and... I don't really, you know, like regretting stuff like not getting a release, but I really wish I would have grabbed, you know, the first two ambient mixtapes, but like I said, maybe they'll get a reissue. They deserve it. And I really hope that, you know, these ambient mixtapes also accidentally turn some people into fans of ambient music. I don't know. Because you never know. Somebody might just be like, oh, Paul Riddell from Blood Incantation, and not even look up or listen to it, and just blind buy it, not knowing it's ambient. I mean, I don't know how you could miss ambient mixtape, but you never know. And then that could be your gateway into ambient music. It's one of those, you know, releases because I feel like this is pretty accessible for an ambient release in the best way possible. Like, it's exactly, to me, what an ambient release needs to be, and that's that it needs to be interesting and also chill enough that it can be kind of in the background and, you know, be doing its own thing because it's all about a vibe. And I know that sounds very hippie-ish, but that's, you know, this is a sonic vibe of chillness. Like, it's not, it's obvious, it's not meant to be like, you know, like, no. No, like, it's the complete opposite of anything like that. It's just, peaceful and it's just you know like coming from somebody that you know like like here's a raw addict cassette god is war conqueror horns and hooves eye gouger horophragrium i love it just as much as i love the ambient stuff, like, and, you know, the chill shit, like, don't be those people that, you know, only, like, listen to Mortician, and anything else, oh, that's poser shit, like, nah, you're allowed to listen to, you know, hardcore, you're allowed to listen to whatever you want, like, I think it's funny when, like, you know, total death metal heads, like, make fun of somebody for liking some black metal. Like, just chill. Like, who cares? You know, like, I'm a big Summerlands fan. I'm a big fan of Eternal Champion. But also, I love blasting some fucking Absonder. I love Vastum. 
the rebel rot. I mean, do I like? I hate when people think that you have to only listen to one type of music. You do not listen to whatever your heart and brain desires. But if you're looking for a good, chill, ambient listen, you can't go wrong with Ambient Mixtape Volume Five by Paul Riddell on S. SFI recordings. Get into it. And thank you to the Patreon. Patreon, sorry for helping me snag this bad boy for the channel. Totally worth it. The killer release, and I'm beyond stoked to share it with you folks. And again, this is an atmospheric recording. Do not expect any heaviness or metal involved whatsoever. This is not that type of release. But I'll show you the cassette again. Just in case you missed it. I love this like new age music. Uh, stamp. I just think it's super sick. SFI recordings is just killing it, in my opinion. And I don't know if Ocean of Peace is, I think this might be a wood smoke tape, but I I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. But again, this was mastered by Arthur Riz. And I'm very interested in hearing the vinyl version of this when it's, when it's ready. Uh, I don't know here, actually. Because right here, I mean, here's a Colorado address. But I know that um, SFI, I, I'm pretty sure, is out of Washington State. But I, I'm just drawing a blank. But there's the man. Paul Riddell, and obviously, if you don't know Paul, Paul's in Blood Incantation, Spectral Voice, Abysmal Dimensions, Merc Stave, Leech, the list goes on and on. If you go on uh, whatever that website is that tells you what bands people are in, Encyclopedia, whatever, yeah, just so many, and like, they're all like good. It's crazy, like, because Paul has an ear and a mind for writing good music. And, yeah, if you go and look at his, you know, like, discography, like, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But when it comes to his ability to create captivating material, it's not just death metal that he has, you know in my opinion, dialed in. It's also ambient music. Like, I feel like Paul's a name that, you know, give it a couple more years. Like, because there is an ambient music scene. And, you know, I really believe that Paul is one of those musicians that could, you know, go out on a solo, like, tour, and absolutely kill it, like, and I think that'd be great, I would love to see a solo, ambient, like, Paul Riddell set, and I really hope that Blood Incantation does, like, a Time Wave Zero tour, I know how hard that would be with the equipment, but, like, I just think it would be great, but otherwise, I think that would be the second best thing, would be uh just, like, and I know these are, like, improv recordings, but, like, have, you know, kind of a set down, if you know what I mean, using these vibes, because, to me, these go together, and I'm pretty sure that's the point, but I don't really, again, I'm kind of going off of memory, and you know, this is not released yet on vinyl. 
But like once that gets released and everything officially, I don't know what the connection is aside from the titles and just the overall vibe because it has a, a very similar like just vibe to it. But I really dig Ocean of Peace and I dig the new ambient mixtape. So peace be with you. And hails to Paul Riddell. Hails to you maniacs for watching, especially if you made it this far into the video for a non-metal video. But I appreciate it because it's releases like this that I really, you know, want to go over and really like getting involved in talking about because it's not, you know, something that I get a chance to do every day and Paul just so happens to be doing something that I really truly appreciate and really have a deep like it just really hits it hits a spot for me that's just like wow this is exactly like what I want it to be and that's very hard to do, but Paul just captured that vibe and captured it perfectly. So, especially due to the fact that it's all improv, it, it means even more. And, yeah, very inspirational, just makes me want to make my own music even more. Like, after the Dungeon Drone... Frog Mist release, I'm doing a straight noise release, and then after the noise release, I want to make my own spaghetti western. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I want to make like a 15 minute spaghetti western, like Morricone-esque track, and see what happens. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule, my mouth hurts too bad to do that thing I always do, but... Check out Ambient Mixtape Volume 5, The Water Tape, and may peace be with you. Hails. Boop, boop, boop.